DART, or Demonstration for Autonomous Rendezvous Technology, was a NASA-sponsored project with the goal to develop and demonstrate an automated navigation and rendezvous capability in a NASA spacecraft. At the time of the DART mission, only the Russian Space Agency and JAXA formerly NASDA had autonomous spacecraft navigation. Orbital Sciences Corporation OSC was the prime contractor for construction, launch and operation of the DART vehicle with a project cost of $95 million U.S. 2005. The contract was awarded in June 2001 and the spacecraft was launched on April 15, 2005. The mission ended prematurely, very shortly after an anomalous slow-velocity collision with its target spacecraft, having completed less than half of the original mission autonomous rendezvous objectives. Mission DART was launched on a Pegasus rocket into a polar circular parking orbit of 760 km x 770 km 472 miles x 478 miles and has International Designator 2005014A. The craft is 2 by 1 meter, 7 by 3 feet and weighs 360 kg 790 pounds. The maneuvering system comprised 16 nitrogen-fueled thrusters with three hydrazine-fueled thrusters and a reaction control system including six nitrogen-fueled thrusters from the Pegasus fourth stage, which forms an integral part of the craft. The target spacecraft was an OSCMUBLCOM multiple path beyond line of sight communications prototype communications relay satellite weighing approximately 49 kilograms 108 pounds launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base on the 18th of May 1999 with international designator 1999026B after launch, DART successfully achieved orbit and within hours made a rendezvous with the target satellite. The automated systems aboard DART successfully acquired the target and began autonomously approaching it. During proximity operations, multiple malfunctions in navigation, propellant management and collision avoidance programming led to a soft collision with the target and premature departure and retirement of the DART spacecraft. DART had no capability for interactive piloting from the ground or for uploading new programming after launch, thus all on-orbit operations were directed by DART itself based upon pre-programmed criteria. The initial mission was to occur over about 24 hours but its premature failure occurred after only about 11 hours, the launch originally scheduled for October 25, 2004, but this was postponed for launch loads analysis and instead performed April 15, 2005. <laughs> Objectives Topic. Automatic orbital transfer maneuvers The craft autonomously navigated via a series of orbit transfer maneuvers to reach the target satellite. No navigational information was relayed to the vehicle after launch, it navigated autonomously and with GPS. Proximity operations with AVGS Once the spacecraft had navigated to the target satellite, it was to have performed a series of proximity maneuvers. The maneuvers would have demonstrated the capabilities of the AVGS advanced video guidance sensor. It was planned to demonstrate station keeping, docking axis approach, circumnavigation, and a collision avoidance maneuver. DART would have then departed the vicinity and retired to a final orbit. The entire sequence was to have been accomplished under autonomous control. 
Topic: Additional demonstrations. Safe operations. Validate ground test results of the AVGS and proximity operations algorithms. Provide hardware capabilities for future missions by validating the AVGS in the space environment. Topic: Mishap Investigation Board. NASA convened a mishap investigation board to determine the reason for the DART spacecraft anomaly. First reports pointed to the spacecraft running out of fuel before concluding its mission. On April 14, 2006, NASA announced that they would not release the investigation's report, citing that the report includes details protected by the International Traffic in Arms Regulations. On May 15, 2006, NASA released a public summary of the DART Mishap Investigation Board report, NASA press release. NASA revealed that a critical navigation failure occurred when the DART and MUBLCOM spacecraft were about 200 meters apart, which precluded the full activation of the AVGS and allowed DART to approach MUBLCOM without accurate ranging information. A later failure of the collision avoidance system, which was relying upon inaccurate position and velocity information, allowed DART to ultimately collide with MUBLCOM at a relative speed of approximately 1.5 m per second. Both spacecraft survived the collision without apparent damage. Throughout the autonomous proximity operations, DART used its limited propellant faster than anticipated, which caused a premature end to the mission. Three minutes 49 seconds after the collision, DART initiated its retirement programming, removed itself from the vicinity of MUBLCOM, and prepared for deorbit. After the collision, MUBLCOM regained its operational status after an automatic system reset." The DART Mishap Investigation Board determined that only 11 of the 27 defined mission objectives were partially or fully met, all of which related to the launch, early orbit, rendezvous, departure, and retirement phases. None of the 14 objectives related to the proximity operations phase were met. As of May 2006, DART remained in polar orbit of about 390 kilometers times 470 kilometers, 240 miles times 290 miles until re-entry in 2016, and MUBLCOM remains in a polar orbit of 740 kilometers times 750 kilometers, 400 160 miles times 470 miles. Topic: Current status. NASA's DART satellite, which carried out an unsuccessful automated rendezvous test in 2005, re-entered about 0832 UTC May 7, 2016, over the S Pacific. Topic. See also Attitude control Orbital express Spacecraft <laughs>